Good evening. How are you doing, everybody? Are you okay? I'm having trouble with the position of my welcome. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't stay. Let's see. Oh, it moves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I think now we are okay. Teacher. Cree que puede intentar entrar otra vez, eh, pero tiene que salirse de todo para volverlo a iniciar. A mí también me dio problema para iniciar a Zoom ahora. Guys, did you have any problem uh, connecting to Zoom tonight? Did you have? Yeah. yeah, I had some problems because it didn't let me uh, connect and then I closed all the apps and then I started back. Did you, did you do the same? Okay, it's 8.04 right now, and we are going to take the attendance, even though uh, we have just a few of you, but we need to start, okay? We need to start. Teacher. Yes, eh, tell consulta, me. Consulta, en la charla inicial, como es primer módulo que hago, hablaban que a la segunda semana había que hacer como un trámite para, como para, para mantener la beca o el cupo para el siguiente nivel. O busco a alguien de, 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 del equipo administrativo, porque no, no entendí muy bien eso. Ok, en la segunda semana lo que se hace es que eh, Recursos Humanos tiene que enviar su documentación para reservar su cupo y asegurar su participación para, las, para el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Eh, queda sujeto siempre a que haya aprobado pero la documentación la tienen que presentar a administración. Eh, yo creo que es vía correo que tiene que... Eh, contactarse recursos humanos con administración. O sea, llenar el formulario, la planilla de LIS y esas cosas. Exactamente. Nueva, nuevamente. Ah, okay. Exactamente eso. Ok, uh -huh. gracias. Ok. Ok, everybody, we're going to start the class. Let's take the attendance. Please turn on your cameras and also say present when I say your name. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. 
Vladimir Antonio, well, he's not here. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Is there Suleima? Okay, not yet. Y Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Welcome, Wendy. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio er Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, everybody, we're going to start with our manuals and the activity that we were um, yesterday. Okay, we're going to start with that. So let's go over there. I think it was page 22, right? I don't remember well what number, but it was 22, I think so. Twenty four, page twenty four. You ready with that? Okay, we wrote the we wrote the questions and let's remember that we are in the past simple tense and we are learning how to ask questions with a yes no answer, short answers, short answers. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. So those are short questions. Now let's see in this um, conversation, uh, I'm sorry, in this exercise, uh, this is kind of a conversation guide, como una guía para una conversación, um, where we want to give some answers according our own experience. Uh, pero hagamos un sondeo ahorita. ¿Han ido recientemente a algún seminario? A ver. No, les... sí, ok, no. Ot otras respuestas individuales. Vamos a ver, Ani, Raquel, Giovanni. ¿Han ido a alguno? No, no teacher. teacher. Ok, ¿han tenido algún evento en su compañía? Training. Nothing. No trainings, no, uh, no seminars. Entonces, vamos a make up, okay? We are going to make this up, inventar, to invent, to make up the story, okay? We're gonna make up the story. So let's say, did you attend to a seminar last month? Let's say yes, yes, right? to start. 
What will be the answer if the answer is positive? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's imagine. Let's imagine. So, Karina, can you give me an answer for number two? Imagine. Um, yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Did you enjoy the seminar? Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, ahora imaginemos que no. Okay, let's imagine no. For example, Giovanni, if you say that you didn't enjoy, so what are you going to answer? Giovanni Ramirez. Repeat, teacher. Imaginémonos que la respuesta es negativa. For number two, give me a negative answer. No. No. Mm -hmm. What will be the answer, Giovanni? No, I don't. ¿En tiempo pasado? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Entonces todos le preguntamos, why, Giovanni? How come you didn't enjoy that interesting seminar? Okay. And you give us a reason. Okay. Give us a reason. Denos una razón por la que no disfrutaría. La que no disfrutó. El que no disfruté, teacher. El seminario. Aquí estamos hablando de que usted fue a un seminario y no le gustó. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, Annie, let's imagine that you didn't enjoy the seminar. So give for, me the answer. For... For uh, Hades. <laughs> uh, what? For uh, Hades. Porque tenía dolor de cabeza. Ah, okay. I didn't. I feel, okay. So I wasn't feeling okay. I had a headache. Okay. There you are. I had a headache. So, no, I didn't. I wasn't feeling okay. I had a headache, okay? So, we are using the past tense to describe what happened, and you couldn't enjoy the seminar. Thank you very much. Now, number three, did you meet new people? Let's see. Did you meet new people? Let's imagine, Kevin Antonio. Um, mm -hmm. this, did you did you meet new people um no, i didn't you didn't no, i didn't okay let's see did you meet new people okay let's start always the questions with capital letter so now you didn't why why didn't you socialize with the people over there hey kevin antonio let's see digamos que sí okay yes okay. i did okay thank you very much you are <laughs> You are a very good student, okay? Yes, I did. So, alguien le quiere preguntar eh, a quienes conoció. A ver, ¿cómo sería una pregunta para decirle a quién conoció? A ver. Everybody thinking. Para que Kevin nos conteste. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
who did? Who what do you mean? Uh, who? Because we are talking about people. Who? <laughs> who, did? who do you mean? Who did? Okay. Who did you meet? Who did you meet, Kevin Antonio? Ahora, para responder, usted tiene que decir en tiempo pasado. Yo conocí a, I met a, I met, uh, y dice el nombre. I, I met, um, one person, se puede decir, una persona. Okay, I met, uh, I met a new friend. Okay, I met a, a new, new friend. friend. Good, thank you very much, Kevin. Right. So okay. let's continue, guys. Number four. Number four. Did you learn something in the seminar? Giovanni Pineda. Hey, 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 yes, I did. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Did you network in the convention? Silvio, did you network in the convention? Imagine, imagine. Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you. And the number six, uh, did you exchange um, business cards? Daniel? Did you... mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Oh, no, oh. no, I didn't. No, no you no, didn't. didn't. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. So you didn't. Why you didn't? How come? Uh, no one was so friendly. Okay. This is just a following up question. Esas son como unas preguntas de seguimiento, ¿verdad? O la que continúa para mantener la conversación. Okay. Now, just let me do something because I had some trouble here. Okay, here. So did you exchange, right? And the answer is no, I didn't. Okay. You just network in the convention, but you didn't exchange. Hmm, how come? Well, because they were two people, different people. Okay, guys, we are going to start with the class for today. I'm going to stop sharing and I want to take you to the objective for today's class. Here we are. Can't see you guys. Hello, Linda, please, can you read the topic for today? Talking about your company, vocabulary practice. Thank you very much. The agenda for today, guys, is that we are going to have a speaking activity as a manner of feedback. We are gonna tell stories using the past simple tense, and we're going to practice a dialogue, then we are going to do a reading activity, then we are, well, this is, Telling stories, practice the dialogue and reading activity all together, okay? And then we are going to the breakout rooms with some activities of our manuals and then we'll do a summary to wrap up 
And then the session one to one today is Alejandra's turn, okay? So let's continue and let's see the objective for today. This is video conference number nine. And today is July the 15th of 2021. The class objective for today, the class will be able to engage in small talk using a variety of topics using socializing vocabulary. Uh, Giovanni Pineda, please read the object, the objective. Okay, the class will be able to engage is small talk using a variety of topics using socialist vocabulary. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see the words here, engage, engage, engage. okay, engage. engage, variety, 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 variety of topics using socializing, socializing. socializing. Thank you very much. I'm still waiting for Maria Elena to connect. Is Maria Elena in? She was having trouble with Okay. So what is the most important thing tonight? To talk and small talks, small talks. Okay, small talks for today. Now just let remember some vocabulary from this unit. Let's remember some vocabulary. Okay, do you see this map here? This is a world map. Here we are representing the location of the headquarters and the branches of a company. How many branches do you see that this company have? How many branches do you see that this company have? How many are there? Okay, let's count them. Okay. Carla, do you see? The first one is West Coast, uh, Europe, India, Africa, Australia, and Japan. Okay, and Japan. So one, two, three, four, five, and six branches. Six branches. How many branches does this company have? Six, six branches. branches. Six branches. Six branches. Okay. And where are the headquarters located? Where are the headquarters located? The headquarters are in New York, okay? The headquarters are in New York. Estas dos torrecitas como que nos da esa idea, okay? Usually New York is represented for those towers. So let's, or for the uh, livery, right? The livery statue. But in this case, we see that uh, this is in New York. Where are the headquarters located? The headquarters? New York. New York. Okay, nice. The headquarters are located in New York. And where are located the six branches? Where are located the six branches? Japan. Okay, Japan. Europe. Europe. Mm -hmm. 
India. India. Africa. Africa. The West. West Coast. Coast. Okay, the West Coast. So uh, this is vocabulary. Headquarters, branches. Headquarters, branches. In our manual, we have a definition. So I'm going to stop sharing here and let's go to the definitions of headquarters and also the branches. Let's read them. They are in... Okay, page 19. Let me share page 19 of your manuals. Share. There you are. Okay. Let's read the definitions. Carlos Alberto, please read the definition of headquarters. Headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main office. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Raquel, please read the definition of branch. Branch. A top or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Okay, thank you very much. Now I'm going to ask, does your company or the company where you work at have branches? Let's see, Karina. Yes. Okay. How many branches do they have? Oh, only one. Okay, so they have headquarters and a branch. Okay, yes. let's see, Annie, does your company have uh, branches? Yes. It's only one? Well, only it's one. Only one shop, okay. Only one, she's uh, headquarters. So headquarters, only. Mm -hmm. okay. Only. Okay. Now let's see, Kevin Antonio, does your company have branches? Branches one. Okay. Uh, they are only one building, one uh, one office. Or do they have other offices, like representations in different places? Uh, Office, office one, solo, como se, solo una oficina. They have only one office. They have only one office. They have, okay. Okay. Office. Nice. Good. Now, please, everybody, go to Google. Go to Google and look for the branches of Super Selectors, okay? Google it. One hundred? Okay. One second, because it's loading here. How many branches does Super Selectors have? 102. 102? One How many?
I I find uh, 100. Okay. Exactly. I remember a different no 100. number, but it's only 100. Only. Oh, okay. Yeah, just 100. Okay. Yeah, it says 100. I had in my notes 105. I don't know why I wrote five. Yeah, but it says 100. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So now let's look up for how many branches, how many branches does um how many restaurants have pollo campero Fourteen. Fifteen? Fourteen. In the whole uh, country? Gracious. Where are the headquarters of Pollo Campero? Where are the headquarters of Pollo Campero? Google it. Guatemala. <laughs> okay, it's original from uh, Guatemala. Guatemala. Right? Guatemala. Guatemala, yes. Okay. The office in 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 Soyapango City, in uh, in Soyapango City. Uh, I, I, I in office. Okay, uh, where this you? This is my client. Oh, okay. okay. It's my client. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> so you have some information there, piece of information. Good, good. So now, guys, uh, this is the situation. There are some companies that have a headquarters in one country, and then they have branches in different countries. But in every country, for example, they have like a Head, uh, headquarter too, but a local headquarter, and then they have some more branches, right? It happens usually with the banks. It happens usually with the banks because they have also ATMs and they have like a diversity of other kind of offices, right? Como especializadas, ¿verdad? Como especializadas, en una se vende una cosa, en otra se hace otra cosa, en otra se hace otra cosa, okay? They are specialized in the field, okay? It depends on the area. As Annie said, right, for the Campero, they have an office in Zayapango, she says. For example, Super Selectus has an, their, their headquarters is here in San Salvador, and they have like human resources department in a different uh, place, well, in a different building, in a different building, but near the headquarters. So um, yes, they can have, companies can have different offices, representations, like representatives also. Distributors are other uh, concept, okay? Because maybe they are not the owner of the building, but they are, mm, the store is a distributor of their brand, okay? Son un distribuidor de alguna marca. Okay, guys, let's continue with this. This is interesting. And let's go to makeup stories. This is funny because you have to make up a story. Let's remember the past tense, okay? Let's remember the past tense. Vamos a hacer una pequeña lectura. Okay. This is a reading. De esta lectura. Okay. Primero la vamos a leer. La voy a leer yo. Después ustedes la leen. 
Después la vamos a leer pedazos por pedazos en sus turnos, ¿ok? A modo que comprendamos. We are not going to say anything in Spanish about the reading. No vamos a usar español en este ejercicio, ¿ok? Tratemos de ubicarnos en el tiempo pasado, ¿ok? Tiempo pasado. Ahora, después de eso, vamos a comentar. Después de comentar, vamos a contar una pequeña experiencia cada uno similar. Sure. Ok. Now let me go there. Let me go there. There it is. So now, one second. Sharing. Here it is. This is a story of experience, like an anecdote. Ok. Someone in a company is talking and is telling this story. Let's read. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time. It was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients and I'm accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. I'm going to read it again. Me voy a leer un poquito más rápido. Okay, a little faster. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time. It was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients and I'm accountable to the sales department but I uh, learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Okay. Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Dicho yo, este, el porcentaje, ¿cómo lo pronuncia usted? 65%. Sí. Ok. Percent. Y, este, y colaboré, colaboré, me está en la sexta. Collaborate, tira. collaborate. Collaborate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ok. Collaborate. Sí, 
teacher, en, uh -huh. en la última línea, ensure, ensure. 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 Like the beverage, ensure. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it's the same, it's the same. Yes. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. Now, please take a screenshot. We are going to stop sharing because I want to see all of you. When you are reading, I want to see your uh, facial or your body expression too when you're reading because you have to give some intonation, okay? So uh, please screenshot and have it handy because we are going to read part by part, okay? By turns, by turns. I'm going to send it through WhatsApp for those who can see it in WhatsApp. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hmm. This is kind of slowly, very slow. There we are. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, please, with the reading. You ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Están todos en la galería. Can you see in the gallery to all your classmates? Can you see your classmates? Yes. Okay, I have Kevin Antonio to my left. And I have Giovanni to my right. Okay. Is the same in yours? Para seguir el orden. Let's start with Kevin, then goes Giovanni, then goes Silvio, then goes Anna, okay? Let's read. Sin detenernos, without stopping, without stopping. For example, if it is a coma, you continue. If it is a period, then you continue, okay? Hasta donde está el signo de puntuación y continúa el otro, okay? Let's start. Kevin Antonio. The first comma. Uh, in this case, the first period. Uh, I win. Okay. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. Okay, next Giovanni. Knew... Giovanni, continue. Giovanni Ramirez, I'm sorry. Giovanni Ramirez is here to my right. I to the score for the first time. Okay, continue, Silvia. It was a very interesting experience. Okay, Daniel. Because I learning now how to be more efficient than remote work. Okay, continue, Juan Carlos. I am responsible for hunting for new clients. Continue, Carlos Alberto. And I am accountable to the sales department. Continue, Linda. Mm -hmm. 
but I learned to collaborate with the marketing department. Okay, Astrid. Okay, continue Giovanni. Astrid, we can't hear you. Continue uh, Giovanni Pineda. And, and also the coordinate with the purchases department. Okay, continue, Raquel. After the training, the personnel front test support created and the development and APP. An app, an app. Okay, Maria Elena, are you in with the reading? We have it in the WhatsApp group. Oh, teacher, sorry. Good I evening. know that you're having trouble. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, look for the for the reading, and uh, we are going to continue with Linda. Okay. Uh, in this case, yeah. Linda, Karina. I'm sorry, Karina. Um, the sales team planned the actions in the app. Okay, Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. Sorry, teacher, permítame okay. que me había salido de para verlo. In eh, in in mar, in marketing designs the la, the layouts the layout okay the, the layout the layout. <laughs> okay continue um Kevin Kevin Daniel okay we used in we used in this new platform and the last two months the comp but the company increased. The comes, it comes, the incomes, yes, in a uh, sixty-five percent. Okay. Uh, continue, Wendy, please. Our company is is known for delivering the production on time. Okay, Suleima. Okay, um, so thank you, Kelly, to ensure area free. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to ask now just two of you. Okay, two of you are going to read again. So the first period. Um, Purchases department, purchases department. That will be one, two, three, four, five, six lines. The first six lines, please read it, Astrid. And the next six lines, Maria Elena, please. Astrid, the first six lines. And the next six lines, please, Maria Elena. Start, Astrid. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. Continue, six lines, son seis líneas. Ah, ah, perdón. I knew the headquarters for the first time. I was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients and I got comfortable to the sales department, but I learned to collabor collaborate with the marketing, with the marketing department. Hmm? And also? Ah, and also to coordinate with the 
poor status the department. 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 Okay. Thank you, Astrid. Now continue, please, Maria Elena. After the training. After the training, the personal front tech support created and developed and an app. The Celestine team planned the action in the app and marketing designed the layout. We use this new platform in the last two months, the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products of time and for taking care to ensure error free. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's repeat after me, please. Everybody repeat after me the verbs. I'm going to read the verbs. Went, 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 went. attend. 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 Here is not attend, it's attend. 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 New. 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 Was. 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 Learned. 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 Okay. Doing. 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 Okay. Hunting. 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 Okay. Collaborate. 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 Coordinate. 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 Training. 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 Created. 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 Okay, this verb is created, right? Created. Pero suavizamos la letra T, okay, y la pronunciamos así, D, okay? Created. 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 Okay, developed. 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 Okay, we, we just like a, a sound of a T after letter P. Developed. 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 Planned. 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 Letter N. It ends in a letter N, so we have to uh, pronounce the ED like a D. Planned. 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 Designed. 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 Que suene esa letra D al final. Designed. Designed. Uh -huh. No es designed, es designed. 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 Okay. Increased. 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 Okay. Known. No one. No. Okay. No. Taking. 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 Ensure. 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 Okay. Now, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this reading? No questions? Okay, the activity now, the activity now is that you write three questions, three questions about the reading, okay? Three questions about the reading. Do it now. Everybody doing three questions. Past tense, past tense, okay? Using D.
In the chat, I wrote one example. Ready? Okay. We are going to imagine that Juan Carlos is telling this story, okay? He went to Colombia to attend the training. He is telling us this story, okay? Vamos a hacer de cuenta y caso que Juan Carlos nos está contando esta historia, okay? His experience. So, we are going to ask questions, then in this case, using Juan Carlos as a subject or he, okay? Now, let's see. Vamos a ver, yo le voy a preguntar, le voy a dar el tiempo a uno de ustedes, voy a decir su nombre y de ahí los demás contestamos la pregunta que nos hagan, ¿ok? Acordémonos que Juan Carlos es el que nos contó la historia, entonces Juan Carlos es the subject, ¿ok? Es he, right? So let's start with the first question. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, Wendy, Wendy, please tell us your first question. Tell us your fair first question. Yo le hago la pregunta a él. Sí, nos hace la pregunta a todos acerca de la lectura, pero el, el sujeto que va a usar es Juan Carlos. Okay. De cualquier parte de la lectura. Yes. Okay. Juan Carlos, who, mm, quiero ver, ay, no sé. Okay, meanwhile, you think about one question. Let's ask uh, Kevin Daniel, please tell us a question. The second question. Okay. Tell us a question. Okay. Juan Carlos era, ¿verdad? Yes, he is the subject. Juan Carlos does have a boring experiences. Okay. Again. Juan Carlos have a boring, boring experience. Okay, let's remember what's the structure to ask a question using did. Okay. Ah, I sorry. Yes, no problem. Let's... Did, did Juan Carlos have a boring experience? Okay, uh huh. Everybody, the answer for that question? Mm. 
No, he, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay, thank you very much, Silvio. Everybody agree? Everybody agrees? Okay, I think we are getting this, right? We are getting. Now, let's see, one question, please. Um, Linda. Did Juan Carlos know the headquarters? Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, let's talk about that. Yes, he did. Okay, do you agree with the answer, Linda? Yes, he did for the first time. Okay, for the first time. Okay, great. Great. So now let's see. Carlos Alberto, please a question. Did Juan Carlos learn to collaborate with the marketing department? Again? Did Juan Carlos? Did Juan Carlos learn to collaborate with the marketing department? Okay, everybody, please answer the question. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, yes, he did. Now, let's think that um, Anadelmi is the subject, okay? Let's think that Anadelmi is the subject. So please ask a question, um, Raquel, please. Did you enjoy when you went to Colombia? That's a direct question, okay? That's a direct question and it's good. But right now we are asking to everybody, Raquel. So in this case, it will be, uh, did Ana Delmi enjoy going to Colombia, right? Uh, but yes, it's good, it's good. What do you think guys? Did she enjoy? Okay, what will be the answer for that question? Everybody. Please repeat the question. Repeat the question, Raquel, please. Okay. Para todos. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, did you enjoy when you went to Colombia? Okay, let's use Anadelmi as a subject. It will be, did Anadelmi enjoy? Go going to Colombia. Everybody. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes. It was a very interesting experience, she said. Okay. Now in the chat, please in the chat read the structure for asking questions with a yes, no answer. With a yes, no answer. Hola. Hello, Anadelmi. I see that you're having problems with your audio. Anna? Okay. I think she's having really problems with uh, the audio over there. Okay, can you tell me what the structure? Did plus. Hola, okay, Anadelmi. Okay, no problem, no problem. I see that you're having problems with your audio. Maybe uh, too much noise. Hola. Wow. No. 
mute. Am I? No, I'm not mute, muted. Okay. Okay, everybody. The structure for asking questions with a yes, no answer, okay? Direct questions. Did plus the subject plus. Very in the base, base form. form. Okay, plus the? Compliment. Compliment. And please don't forget when you are writing, don't forget to write the question mark. Because if you don't write the question mark, then the intonation is not going to be a question. It's going to be a statement, right? So remember when you are writing a question, write a question mark. Okay, let's change the activity now. Let's change the activity. Because it was supposed that you were going to um, tell a story of, a, of an experience that you had maybe a short one, a short one. We're gonna do it at the end of the class, okay? Uh, we're going to change that. Now let me go please to the, to the manual because there we have some things to do. Do you know what is a small talk? Do you know what is a small talk? What do you think is a small talk? What do you think a small talk is? Attended teacher. Is thank you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, when we come back, we're going to start with page 25, okay? Now let me go to the, to the attendance list. Please turn on your cameras and also stay present when you listen to your name. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Uh, Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo was in, right? I don't know what happened. Uh, Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejia. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Uh, Juan Carlos was there. What did. Don't see Juan Carlos. Karina Noemi. Present. Alvarez Mejia. Okay, thank you. Carla Verónica Suria López. Carla Verónica. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, Present. Carla. Present. Okay, Kevin. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present.
Zulema Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Um, Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Antes de pasar a la actividad del, uh, del manual, quiero tomarme unos minutos porque, un minuto, porque eh, hay bastante ausencia, chicos. Entonces tengo reportado ya el grupo de que hay bastantes ausencias. Eh, muy pocos han reportado su ausencia por, por fallas del internet o por eh, situaciones de trabajo. Muy pocos lo han reportado. Miren, no, no hay permisos para faltar y la asistencia debe ser el 100% de las clases. Esto está sumado en la nota final, ¿verdad? Y para que ustedes puedan ser tomados en cuenta en el próximo módulo, deben de asistir y cumplir con este requerimiento. Es básico, ¿verdad? No podemos saltarnos ese requerimiento. Ahora, queremos descartar que sea por la metodología o que sea por el tiempo que se utiliza para las actividades en la videoconferencia. Queremos descartar eso y que todos estemos en sintonía, ¿verdad? Y que todo se esté realizando de la mejor manera y que no sea esa la razón de la ausencia. Así que quisiera ahorita, en este momento, dar la oportunidad a dos personas que me den opinión. Eh, ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Estamos bien con la metodología? Eh, ¿Se sienten a gusto? Eh, ¿Hay algo que podamos mejorar? Eh, quisieran otro tipo de actividad o esta, a, estas actividades están bien, ¿cómo se sienten? Eso quiero saber en este momento para que eh, expresen y estemos todos de acuerdo, ¿verdad? A ver, tiempo abierto. Teacher, este, yo estos dos días que he faltado realmente porque he tenido un poquito de saturación de trabajo, pero la verdad que yo siento que la metodología es bastante buena y lo que le dije la vez pasada, o sea que es más que todo práctica de mi parte para poder agarrar como el hilo, pero esos dos días sí he faltado por eso, porque he tenido un poquito y ahorita tengo problemas con la cámara de, de, de la computadora. Entonces, este, pero, pero sí, o sea, o sea, procuro siempre estar temprano, pues, de, o sea, venirme temprano, exacto a la hora de salir del trabajo para conectarme a mis clases. Muchas gracias, Wendy, por su opinión. ¿Uno más? Buen dicho, yo. Primero, bueno, agradecerle a usted por, por la paciencia que me ha tenido por mi incapacidad médica, ¿verdad? Tomármela y dejarme cuando yo estuve bien, bien mala la semana pasada, porque estuviera solo de oyente. Eh, solo decirle como mi, mi, mi experiencia de que, bueno, es la primera vez que estoy en un curso intensivo, creo que soy la que voy un poquito atrás, pero sí agradecerle a usted, como le mencionaba, la pedagogía que usted tiene el que prepare su clase, las presentaciones, el que nos envíe un, un previo en el WhatsApp, pues dice mucho su diligencia y el, el valor agregado que usted tiene para que cada uno de nosotros pues aprendamos. Y sí, este, enfocarnos más, como decía la compañera, pues los que nos cuestan, pues aprender un poquito más. A... Yo estoy educando mi oído cuando usted habla solo inglés y yo a veces me quedo callada porque me, estoy como coordinando, queriéndole comprender 
lo que usted dice, pero sé que voy a agarrarle y agradecerle también a mis compañeros, pues yo sé que hay muchos que están súper avanzados. He visto a Karina, a Juan Carlos, eh, a Carlos Alberto, ¿verdad? Que están bien avanzados y agradecerles pues la paciencia que ellos tienen con los demás. Solamente gracias. Muchas gracias por su opinión, Zuleima. Muy bien, son tomadas en cuenta todas las, en cuenta todas las opiniones. Uh, es muy importante esto y muy saludable. Así nos expresamos y hacemos los ajustes necesarios a modo de que todos estemos en sintonía y vayamos de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Queremos agradarlos a todos, queremos que ustedes se sientan bien. En especial, yo quiero que ustedes se sientan bien dentro de la clase porque eso facilita que ustedes aprendan. Bien. Vamos a continuar. Démosle vuelta a la página. Let's turn the page and let's go to the manual. Okay. Let's go to our manuals. Okay. Let's think. What small talk? What small talk? What? can you say about what is a small talk? Have you ever heard that term? Did you hear that term? That word small and talk. What do you think it is? Question. Mm -hmm. Like one question. Es como decir en pocas palabras algo. Okay, like using a uh, few words in a conversation, in a short conversation, right? Like short conversation, yes. But this is like a casual conversation. This is like a casual conversation when, uh, for example, we don't know the other per person. And for example, in an event, we have to interact with that person. So we um, come up, we come up with some topics, some topics, interesting topics for both of us, for both of us. For example, I was, telling that class when I said we talk about the weather oh it's raining right just to break the ice like breaking the ice so these topics are ice breakers right ice breakers and then we can develop a small talk but there is another concept too there is another concept For example, a small talk, a small talk is when you don't know too much about a topic and you just say the generalities, okay? Uh, something in general. You don't know uh, the deepest of that topic. You don't know anything else or the details of the topic, but you know in general about that. Do you remember in the dialogue when they were talking about networking? Networking, she says, uh, let me go there to the conversation just to for you to see. When she says, I, uh, I'm sorry, Janet says here, okay. I learned to move from small to smart talk from small to smart talk. Small will be the opposite of a smart talk. Small talk is the opposite of a smart talk. So you can talk about the topic with more details, right? With more details, because now you know about the topic in a different way. You learn more about that but in a casual conversation in a casual in a short conversation we can say that's a small talk small talk 
Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Let's see, Giovanni Alexander uh, Ramirez. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? What do you think, guys? Giovanni Ramirez, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Let's see. Um, what is converse, conversationalist? That you start a conversation and you can keep a conversation. You maintain a conversation with someone. Maybe you don't know the person and then you go and say, hello, how are you? What's your name? Right? And you start conversations. Are you good at starting conversations? Yes. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, let's see here. Let's look at Annie. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Now, let's see. Maria Elena, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Yes, I am. And sometimes depend on the person. It depends, right? It depends also in the ambience where you yeah. are, right? Interacting. Yes, you're right. Now, Carla, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Carla? Are you good at conversation? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, now let's see, Linda, what do you think? Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Yes, teacher, but it depends on the topic. Okay. It depends on the topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the topic. Maybe you know about the topic. Maybe you don't know about the topic, right? Yes. Okay. That's a good point. Do you consider uh, yourself a good conversationalist, Kevin Daniel? Yes, of course. Okay, nice. Because I consider myself a, a slower person. Okay, good. But uh, in this case, uh, let's see, for example, what topics, what topics do you like to use uh, when you start a conversation. So let's see everybody, let's think about the topics. Here in our manuals, we have a list of topics, okay? Here we have a list of topics. Let's read the topics. Location, company, politics, common event, travel, money, bosses, likes, and also dislikes, right? Likes and dislikes. Hmm. Let's check on the good topics that you consider that they are good topics for a small talk. Let's check three topics of this list that you consider they are good topics for a small talk. Let's see the example of location. Is your company near the trade center? Do you think to talk about location is a good topic for a small talk? Is it a good topic? Let's read company or job. We could talk about what are some of your responsibilities at the company that you work at, right? Do you think uh, talking about politics is good in a small talk? What do you think? Now, common event, a common event, for example, are you enjoying the seminar? Are you enjoying the symposium? Are, are you enjoying the party? Or 
something, something, right? Do you think talking about the event is a good topic for the small talk? Let's think about talking, I mean, uh, the topic travel, travel. Does your job require a lot of travel? Does your job require a lot of travel? Mm. Do you think it's a good topic for a small talk? What do you think? Travel, good topic? Yes. Let's, uh, yes, okay, you may check that one. Um, what do you think? Is money a good topic for a small talk? Or do you consider that topic inappropriate? Money. Let's see. Are you making good money in your job? Uh, is it a good? Is it a good topic? No. No, inappropriate. Okay, it's not so proper, right? It's not inappropriate. Now, do you think talking about the bosses, your boss and my boss, um, in a small talk, remember, it's a casual talk, um, is it a good topic or is it inappropriate? What do you it's think? Okay. It's inappropriate. In, uh, okay. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Why do you think about uh, talking about money, bosses, and politics is inappropriate? Inappropriate. Why? Opinions, please. Mm -hmm. For the the money, is mm -hmm. to is very personal, and the situation of the country is <laughs> is so <laughs> yeah so dangerous. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, so it's, it's kind of dangerous. Uh huh. Uncomfortable topics. Okay, it's not so comfortable that topic. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not confident. It 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 that I mean it takes off the confidentiality, right? Uh, so it's not good. It's not good. You feel like they are attacking your privacy, right? They are um a, in a place where they don't belong. It's only mine, right? As Silvia said, personal. It's very personal. Yes. Okay. Now, what do you think talking about politics could cause in a small talk? ¿Qué podría causar? Right? A discussion, problems. A discussion, yes, problems. A fight. Uh -huh. Controversy. Controversy, yes. Controles? <laughs> Excuse me? In the red social? Uh, troles? Social media? Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Your opinion of the politics, uh, you have some comment. <laughs> yeah, all the bots, right? Yeah, and they are doing, making you feel us. A trash over there, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. So if you say something that they um, feel your opposition, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like, yeah, your position against the their thinking. Oh, it's not. It's not good. It's not good. So now, what do you think could be three more topics? inappropriate topics. A ver, pensemos en tres tópicos, en tre, perdón, en tres temas que sean inapropiados. Three more uh, inappropriate topics. 
What do you think? Of religion? Religion, yeah. Religion is kind of controversial, as Juan Carlos said, right? Religion. Well, we could we could start. It depends on the place and if the person is open, right, to your uh, or you can test if the person think just like you. But yeah, it's not it's not so uh, good for the first talk. Okay, for the first talk that you are having with a person, the introductory. Um, talk, yeah, religion. Another topic, guys? Teacher, discrimination, difference to people. Okay, talking about the genders, right? Or maybe the discrimination, like racial, or yeah, you're right. Those are racism, right? Racism, discrimination, and also the uh well the genders so yes you're right you're right what other guys one more one more inappropriate topic for a small talk ask the throw. Throw. Asking? ask asking the egg the age yeah, for a woman, right? Hey, how old are you? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Good, Juan Carlos. Good point. Good point. Yeah, because you said, unless you say you look so younger <laughs> for your uh, age, right? Yeah, but no, no, it's not. It's not proper. It's not proper to, to ask for the age. Okay, guys. Now, let's see the activity below. Below we have an activity and it's very interesting because we have to create a conversation, okay? This is kind of a casual, a casual conversation. Annie, do you think the speaker E and the speak, I'm sorry, a speaker A and the speaker B, they are maybe in, in a hall, in a building, right? And let's see this model of conversation. Let's think about this model of conversation. You are going to be a speaker A, Annie, and Kevin Antonio is going to be a speaker B. Okay? Okay. Start. Speaker A, excuse yes. me. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Okay, good, good. Now we have to prepare a short conversation using these topics. You can choose any topic, but for those that are proper, okay? For the good topics, for the small talk. Look at these ones. If you want to, to choose for another one, then add another one. It's okay. But now we are going to the breakout rooms and we are going to create, create this conversation based in the model that Annie and Kevin read, okay? ¿Se entendió? ¿Estamos correctos? Vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms. Y vamos a crear una conversación inicial, ¿ok? Uh, una conversación casual, small talk, de uno de los temas que tenemos ahí, pero de los que son buenos, ¿ok? From a good topic. Vamos a basarnos en el modelo que acaban de leer Kevin y Annie, ¿ok? Ok, Tisho.
Ya, no. Bueno, acá abajito lo vamos a hacer. Ok. What, eh, what topic? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tema escogemos? ¿The travel? Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Or common event. Common event. Are drinking the same? I come in, excuse me. I go to this seminar. Uh, okay. Come on, Evans. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mom, excuse me. Uh, uh, where is uh, the, the seminar? Excuse me. O podemos ponerle where is the accounts seminar o Hello teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Mm. Tell me. I had a question about uh, we talk about a company or talk about uh, any topic. You have to choose between the topics that you have in the list. Okay. okay. Uh, in page 25, you have a list of topics. Then you decide if you want to talk about the company, if you want to talk about the um, uh, the event where you are, or the place, the location. If it was difficult yeah. to get there, right, or something like something like if that. If I want to, if I want to talk about a soccer match, I can. Oh yeah, it's good. It's a good topic. Yes, of course. If the other person is interested in the same topic, I think it is a good topic for a small talk. Okay, it's more easy because yes, it's easier. It's easier, yeah, about the selecta, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. La selecta. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Where is the match? The soccer match. <laughs> Giovanni. ¿Cómo? No sé si te parece hablar de, de soccer match, de partidos de fútbol o algo. ¿sí? O quisieras hablar, ¿qué te gusta a ti? Videojuegos, eh, no sé, algo que te gusta. Okay, o sea, te puedo preguntar. Hello, uh, excuse me, where is the match? Where is the soccer match? Me puedes decir, ¿cómo? Es como mi equipo, ¿verdad? No, 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 ¿dónde es el partido de fútbol? Ah. The soccer, the soccer match is. Uh -huh. The soccer match is. In Soyapango. Okay, nice. Thank you. And who are who's, who's playing? Maybe uh, your company's team, right? <laughs> yes. Contra quién vamos a jugar? 
ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಸರಿಯಾ Who are we going to play again? Against. Against, sorry. Contra quien vamos a jugar? With another company, for example. El Selectos. Play with... We are playing. We are playing. Or just who do you think is going to be the winner, right? Uh, so you, you can ask that. Who do you think is going to win, right? Okay. Who do you win? Como, como, repeat, please. Who do you think is you think winning? Is winning, okay. Who do you think is winning? I think. Es como quien pienso que va a ganar, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero, ¿quién es que, ¿quiénes están jugando? Nosotros contra otro equipo. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, eh, I think, I think, I think a win all. Of course, we win, right? Of course, we are because going to win. We are the best. <laughs> okay, guys, you are doing a good job. A good job. Please uh, improve that conversation that you have the idea already, and I'm going to another room to help, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, see you in the main room. Giovanni, Giovanni, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was uh, I was busy with another group, so now I'm going to send you to the group. Uh, do you remember the number of the room that you were before? Uh, you were at uh, room five, I think, right? Five. Okay, let's see. There you are. Now I sent you the invitation to join. Teacher. Hello, how are Hello. you doing? Yes, yes, yeah, finished. Okay, you finished. Okay, good, nice. Uh, I'm going to another room then. Practice the conversation now. Okay, okay teacher. There you are. You need to say. Yeah, because you are like this, right? <laughs> I need like this. <laughs> okay, people, we are going to share with the class our conversation. Let's see, everybody is on the way. On the way, on the way to the main room. There you are, there you are. Okay, trying to record in progress. Okay, let's start with Astrid, okay? Astrid and Carla, right? There you are. Your conversation, please. Tell us the topic. Oh, yes, we can do that. Vamos a ver de qué hablaron, okay? We are going to guess the topic. There you are. 
No está Carla. Ah, Carla. ¿Usted, Inés? Yeah, Carla, Carla, <laughs> Carla. Where are you, Carla? And yes, you're... there she is. There she is. It's right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Where is the sales department? It's on the first floor. Thank you. By the way, what time do they close the building? It's at 8 p.m. o'clock. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Nice. What is the, the topic? What is the topic? Guys? Department sales? Okay. Yeah. Location, right? Location is the topic. Yes? Okay, now let's hear Annie. Annie with your partner. Location. <laughs> Silvio. <laughs> okay, there you are. Okay. Hello, Anna. Hello, Silvio. I see you have a baggage. Are you have a travel? Yes, I am. I go to a Panama for my for my vacation. Oh, have I uh, have a good trip? Uh, thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, in that case, um, are you having? Are you having a travel or are you traveling? Are you traveling? Okay. Sí, teníamos okay. esa duda. De, okay. De, 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 thank you, teacher. Okay, there you are. Now let's see um, Daniel and your partner. Okay, Maria Elena. Okay, there you are. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, do you enjoy outdoor activities? Yes, I do. What activities do you like? I like picnic in the Trifinio Park. Me too. Okay, okay nice. Great. Okay, but you say elder? Did you say elder activities? What? No. Outdoor. Outdoors. Activity. Outdoors. Oh, okay. I heard elders. So I said <laughs> elders, I thought uh, for people of the third age. Okay. <laughs> people for the third age. So I, I think, uh -huh. okay, they are going to the asylum or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Now I know that you like to go to, so I said, uh, well, a person of the third age going to the Trifinio is not it doesn't match, right? <laughs> okay, there you are. There you are. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, so what is the topic there? What is the topic? Likes. Likes. Good. Nice. Okay, Kevin and your partner. You have two partners. Oh, Karina. Right? Oh, only, only Karina. Okay, there you are. Okay. Hey, will you get the vaccine? Um, yes, I do. Um, okay. And where are you going? Did you, did you, or do you? Mm. Uh, what was the question, Karina? Did you say, did you, or did you say, do you? I say, will you get the vaccine? Where? Will. Will. Oh, Will. okay. So you are three or four modules <laughs> up, but they're, they're good. Good. Nice. Now I know that you know how to use the future tense. Okay. Now, um, well, let's think, did you, right? Did you to practice the vocabulary of this module? Did you get yes, the did. vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Aun cuando hubiera preguntado, will you? Él tiene que contestar, yes, I will. Y él dijo, yes, I do. Por eso yo me quedé. Dijo, did, dijo, do. Okay. So that is okay. why. So let's be more. Yes, I Continue, did. continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. And where are you going to get the vaccine? I, I will go to the hospital El Salvador. Oh, okay. Nice, me too. <laughs> okay. When? When is your when is your appointment? Do you have an appointment? Yes, but I don't remember. Don't I'll you remember? Say. Oh my yeah. god. 
<laughs> it, it was for uh -huh. today. It was for today. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to reschedule your appointment. Now, <laughs> let's see. Linda, ah, what was the topic here? What was the topic? What was the topic? The pandemic, Location. right? Vaccination. <laughs> okay, nice. Good. Linda. Okay. Vamos con Wendy. Okay. Wendy, are you ready? Yes. Start. Excuse me. Where is seminar accountable? It's on the fourth floor. Thank you. By the way, are you attending to? No, I don't. I am attending other seminar. Okay. Let's remember also the grammar here. If they ask, are you? Then the answer is, no, I am not. Okay. No, I am not. Okay. Correct. There you are. Let's remember. If they ask, did the answer? is did or didn't. If they ask do or does, then the answer is do or does, okay? Well, in this case, in this case, uh, um, let's try to do it in the old school, right? Aprendamos a hacerlo ahorita en la vieja escuela para que ya ahorita, en la, ya después en la calle, hmm, no nos agarra de sorpresa, okay? Because our brain is is uh, thinking straight. Mena está pensando ordenadamente. Now, let's see, um, Giovanni Pineda. Okay. Uh, with Juan Carlos Palacio. Okay, there you are, Juan Carlos. Okay, the topic is uh, likes. Okay. Uh, hello, Giovanni. Do you enjoy the beach? Uh, yes, I love it. And are you having a good time? Uh, yes, I come with my good family every weekend. Uh, great, that is good. Nice, nice. Let's drink something, right? Let's drink something. It's hot in here on the beach, right? At the beach. <laughs> Good. Nice. Uh, let's see who else I have here. Suleyma. Suleyma. Okay. Con Raquel. Okay, Raquel. Excuse me. Suleyma, where is the seminar? It's on the meeting room. Then, by the way, are you attending to? Yes, uh, a topic building tell kids about intelligence, the new uh, app. Okay. Uh, let me try to understand the last part. Let, tr let me try to understand that last part. You said the topic is? Common event. Okay, yes, but the last part of your conversation, I couldn't get it the, in the complete idea. You were talking about uh, the topic of the, um, the meeting right or the event where you are going and she said that it was very interesting because do you want to repeat the last part of your conversation when you say in the meeting room uh-huh Okay. Okay. Um, ella me decía, tent, uh, by the way, are you handing to? Attending to, uh -huh. attending to. Y yo le decía, 
o sea, lo que le quería decir es que sí, que... que Say es, it in English, please. Ah, okay. Yes, a topic building. Te, habl, se va a hablar, pero tel, te, tal que... Interesting. Uh -huh. Y como no logramos desarrollar el, el tema, le puse yo de new eh, app. O sea, de la, nueva, de la nueva aplicación. Oh, ok, ok. Now, it's a very interesting topic. It's about the new app. Ok, ah, now okay. I understand. Ok, okay now I get it. Ordenarlas. Yes. Dice. Yes, you have Thank to you. make the correct order of the words in the sentence. Ok, then, who's missing? Who's missing? I remember that uh, Carlos Alberto and Giovanni, right? No, um, Kevin and Giovanni did, did it already? Kevin and Giovanni? Hello, hello. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Share with us your conversation. Giovanni, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Hello, excuse me. Where is the soccer match? Uh, the soccer, soccer match is Japan. Hey, okay, it's great. How do you think we'll win? Of course. Uh, we are win because we are best. Oh, great. <laughs> you are the best team, right? <laughs> okay, nice. What were they talking about? What were they talking match. about? Okay, a soccer match. Did you get that, everyone? Okay, who is going to be the winner? We. <laughs> okay, they are going to win. <laughs> and uh, there you are. Nice, nice. I see that Carlos Alberto is um, reacting there. Did you like the soccer thing? Okay, nice. Okay, uh, creo que ya solo me queda Carlos Alberto, ¿verdad? O ya participó Carlos. Es que yo estaba en el grupo de Linda y Wendy y no me tomé en cuenta. Oh, <laughs> discrimination, guys. <laughs> Only girls. Oh my God. No, no way. That's not. Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, then um, let's try again, Linda, with Carlos. Okay. Excuse me, where is the sem seminar for accountable? It's on the fourth floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Uh, no, I am done. Okay. okay. Are you attending to? No, I am not. Acuérdense, no, am si not. es el to be, usamos to be. Okay. There you are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Today we learn how to do a small talk, a casual talk. Okay. And we practiced some vocabulary. We remember what was uh, what headquarter is, I'm sorry, headquarters is, and um, the meaning of the branches. And uh, also we learn how to tell a story about experience, okay? We learn to talk about something that happened in the past. And just let me, oh, okay. It's 10.01, guys. It's 10.01. Lo que faltó, lo único que nos faltó fue eh, que ustedes contaran, que entre todos íbamos a contar una historia, ¿ok? Eso nos faltó, así que la vamos a hacer mañana. Yo voy a empezar y el otro va a seguir de donde yo me quede, ¿ok? Y le vamos a ir inventando a la historia. Así que prepárense para mañana, ¿ok? Be prepared for tomorrow, ¿ok? I'm not going to tell okay. you the I'm not going to tell you the way that we are going to do it, but just remember that we are going to do that and use the verbs in the past tense. Let's try to use 
as much as we can, right? It's 10.02, so let me take the attendance and then let's remember, oh, Alejandra is not here. Alejandra is not here. Uh, we have that time available. Is anybody interested in staying to the session one-to-one? -one? Do you want to stay? Tell me, I want to. Yo, teacher. Okay, there you are, Selena. Now, Alejandra Vanessa. Ma. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present, teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present, teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present, teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Eh, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present, teacher. And Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Did you say present, Juan Carlos? Yeah, right? Present, teacher. Okay. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Beto Bar Rivera. No Nancy tonight. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleim. I see the beautiful baby. Suleima Veronica Melgar Diaz. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana had travel, right? Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present. Okay, Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much, guys. So class is over and let us meet tomorrow. So lay my space. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Good Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, Sulema, here we are. El topic o el tema es uh -huh. del did. Okay, the past simple tense. Past simple tense. Okay, es el pasado de los verbos. Vamos a ver. Okay, pasado este. Mm -hmm. it, it is from yesterday. Okay, let me go there. Let me go there. I'm going to share the screen with you in the slides of the examples, okay? And then we are going to see the menu. Here we are. Deed, right? Deed. Ahora en la actividad donde usted nos dijo que teníamos que poner el deed más el subject. Ah, okay, the questions. Más al de question, allí donde me, okay, me, me perdí para participar. Okay. One second, because creí haber llegado y agarré otra. Here it is. Okay. This is an example of a question. This is a direct question. It means that the answer that we want when we ask these kind of questions is just yes, he did, or no, he didn't. It depends on the subject, right, that they are asking. But in this case, they are talking about this person. Por eso tenemos él. That is why we have he here, right? Because the manager, the manager, in this case, the picture says that it is a man, right? Okay, the um, 
auxiliary that we use is did. Okay? Did. Did. Y lo usamos al principio de la oración. Este equivale como cuando en el presente usamos do. Mira, do you like to eat pupusas? Okay? Usamos do al inicio de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Para que me digan, ah, sí, me gusta. Oh, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Or no, no me gusta, right? So, in the past tense, in the past tense, vamos a utilizar el pasado de do, ¿verdad? Porque, pues, estamos hablando del pasado. Then we are going to add the subject. Esta es la estructura que va a haber acá. Uh -huh. Este es el sujeto, right? So, did... Is the helping verb, then we have the subject, then we have the verb in the base form. Aquí utilizamos el verbo en su forma base. Aquí no le podemos poner el pasado del verbo, aunque estemos refiriéndonos al pasado, porque did hace las veces de pasado, ¿verdad? Media vez usted mire que ahí dice did, o alguien le dice, did you go to the cinema? Entonces se está diciendo en un tiempo pasado. pasado. Sí. Okay. Ajá. Entonces, el verbo se pone en la forma base. Base. Okay. Base form. Base. Y luego, después del verbo, pues todo el complemento de lo que vayamos a querer informarnos, ¿verdad? En este caso es como una pregunta de confirmación o una pregunta directa, ¿verdad? Que solo uh -huh. requerimos la respuesta sí o no, ¿verdad? En este no. caso, la pregunta dice, Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Y la persona que nos va a confirmar si estuvo o no estuvo en la reunión, el gerente. Ajá, uh -huh. they are going to say, yes, he did. Or, no, he did. No, she did. In this okay. case here, because this is a man, right? The other example I showed you in the class, it was, for example, here, we are referring to a department, okay? Si se fija el auxiliar al principio. Okay. Did, el pasado, okay? Did the HR department print out, es el verbo, print out, es completo, the vaccination campaign flyers, these flyers, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, la respuesta es sí o no. Okay, yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros en español preguntamos, hey, mira, hay recursos humanos imprimió los volantes. Okay, mm -hmm. eso significa esta pregunta. Did the HR department print out the vaccination campaign flyers? Mm -hmm. Y la respuesta de ese cuando usted le pregunta, hey, mira, y, y, y Recursos Humanos lo, imprimió los, los volantes de la campaña de vacunación. No, fíjate, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? O mm -hmm. sí, fíjate. Ok. Eso es acá. Yes, they did. They did. No, no they, they didn't. didn't. Okay. Okay. Esto que mira acá es una explicación, por ejemplo, cuando se siente como cerrado, ¿verdad? que les, no, fíjate, y se queda la otra persona esperando la explicación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como que está en seco que le diga que no. Entonces, o más información, ¿verdad? Exacto, entonces la información es quién lo hizo, ¿verdad? Si no lo hicieron ellos, pero ya están imprimidos los, están impresos los eh, volantes. ¿Quién lo hizo? ¿verdad? Sería la, la following up question, follow up, eh, como la pregunta que sigue. Mm -hmm. Communications printed out printed flyers. flyers. Okay. Decíamos que esto lo podemos sustituir, todo esto lo podemos sustituir por did. Ah, ok. No, they didn't. Communications did. Okay, mm -hmm. para no hacer larga toda okay. la explicación, ¿verdad? Ok, dicho. Sí, a mí queda como más, más, más entendible cómo se configuran las, se estructura la pregunta okay. y cómo dar las respuestas. 
Ok, veamos en el manual solamente lo que estoy yo diciendo porque lo tenemos en la conversación que teníamos cuando vimos ese tema. Uh -huh. Aquí está. How to use information in the simple. Ok, viene la pregunta. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did al principio? You as the subject. Enjoy okay. es la forma base del verbo y luego el complemento. Yes, I did. Ok, you see? Yes, I did. Y da una explicación más, ¿verdad? I did a lot. I learned a lot. Como manteniendo That's... la conversación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora, cuando nosotros hablamos en el pasado en una forma positiva o afirmativa, sería, eh, utilizamos el verbo en el pasado, en la forma del pasado. En la lista que les envié, la columna 2 tiene estos verbos. Uh -huh. Sí, lo vi. Ok, perfecto. Ahora, la forma negativa es didn't. ¿Qué did significa did not? Did not. Did not. Uh -huh. Not. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Is there anything else that you want me to help you out with? No, solamente ese. Okay, then. Sí. Then y let seguir us... repasando las, las palabras. Okay, okay. Y también en, en la plataforma está un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Está también la tarea que tenemos que ir haciendo diariamente. Y sí. está la, eh, el foro de discusión. Ahí he puesto yo, he colgado un ejercicio para que practiquen precisamente el pasado. Ah, okay. Hay, pres hay eh, seis oraciones en presente y seis en pasado para que puedan practicar un poquito la estructura. Ok, dicho. Okay. Sí, lo estaba haciendo. Solo hay una tarea que no, que no le he logrado hacer. Creo que es la tercera. Okay. Y la segunda, pero es por este tema. Por de el la, did. Al did. Sí, okay. ya la voy a poder avanzar. Ok, mm -hmm. perfect. Then let us meet okay. tomorrow. Ok. Ok. And have a good night, Suleima. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, my bye. pleasure. Bye bye.